struggles with opening a bottle. Uh, you know, I, I've told you this before, and my producer Kyle will make fun of me again, because yes, I was in the restaurant business for about 18 years. Yes, I was. And I managed about, I managed three or four different restaurants. I kind of lose track. But anyway, um, one of the jobs that I would always get called upon is to open wine. Because when you have new waiters on staff, they get really nervous about opening wine. And we had 60 70 and $80 bottles of wine. And we had a policy that if you screw up the wine because you don't know how to do it and you didn't ask, then that would be the waiter's fault. And they would wind up having to pay for it. It's just, it's a good way to get them to learn how to do it really quickly. I got a way you could do it and you'll never make a mistake, all right? It's from Dash. And Dash is that company that always makes things easy for us, right? This this is their automatic serve and preserve uh, electric wine opener set. This thing is brilliant. What you've got is you've got an electric corkscrew, and if you come into my hand, and you'll see it right there, if you come in really tight, see my boy Brandon get me a good shot right there. When I depress this button, you will see the corkscrew start to spin. It's actually better to see it that way. And that will go into the wine. It'll even go right through the, the tape, although I would say cut, I would cut it first. You get a cutter first. It extracts it, and then when you reverse it, it'll take that cork right out so you can put the cork back in. You get not only this, all right, but included with this, which is brilliant, is also a feature. And if you look down at my hand, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little light that will turn on. Can you see that blue light? You can see it. That is, a, that is a suction device that will also pull the air out of the little caps that we give you so that you can keep your wine fresh. You put that right in there and you hit that blue button and it pulls the air out of the bottle of wine, which you need to do, especially with red wine. White wine usually you refrigerate, but especially with red that you don't refrigerate because remember air, it, when it exposes your wine, it actually helps it to breathe and it tastes better. But if you leave it exposed over time, it starts to fade. So you wanna take the air out if you've only drank a half a bottle. So you get the wine opener with the built-in vacuum sealer, which will seal the, uh, the wine that you haven't drank yet. You get a cutter, and here's the cutter right here. And if you can see that, all this does is it goes around the, it goes around the top of the wine right here. You basically put it there and you uh, open it up a little bit, you pinch it in, and you turn that, and that'll take the plastic cap off. It's a beautiful gift. Today it is on sale. It was 59, today it's 49. Kyle, does that say free shipping and handling, I hope? It does, so the perfect gift for the wine connoisseur, the perfect gift for a family, uh, for mom and dad, uh, for grandma and grandpa, whoever loves their white or red wine, it's the easiest way you cannot screw this up, all right? You will not ruin it, and you'll not get any little bits of cork in your wine because you're not gonna be sitting there wrangling it, trying to get it open and doing it wrong. There's no, there's no wrong way to do it. Put the thing in the center, wine cork comes right out. And of course, Kelly Deidring is here, and I know Kelly always has a decent supply of wine in her house, so we should have plenty of things to demo. <laughs> yeah, this is a true story. You called me out. Listen, 2020 and me and wine, uh, we have taken it to a whole nother level, my friend. And I think a lot of folks are drinking just a titch more wine than they normally would. What an amazing gift. You saw me just open it. It's that electric corkscrew that takes out the cork. It will not damage the cork. So you don't get little bits of cork when you pour a glass for yourself or somebody else. Then it delivers it back to you undamaged. And a lot of people like craft with the corks or maybe it's a celebration and you wanna keep the cork. I like to put them in a little, like an oversized wine glass and put it on my bar. Here's the cool thing. You would pay $50 I've seen for vacuum sealers of wines. You take this, you turn it over, you take your cork, these come included and they sit on board, okay? So these corks come included and sit on board. You pop it in your bottle of wine, guy. You turn, like I said, you just flip this little machine over, watch. It vacuum seals it electronically. You're not trying to stand there and pump air out of a bottle of wine. You can actually hear, um, it'll change noise when it's done. You'll kind of hear that it's done removing the air. Then watch. Literally, I could store this upside down. It has completely sealed my bottle of wine. Now, Guy, you had talked about, well, why do you want to remove the air? Have you ever stored a bottle of wine and just like popped a cork back in it? You've gone back for that bottle of wine and it's like kind of metal tasting. Yeah. It's, it's icky yeah. and you're, you just toss it, right? You're just like, okay, not worth it. That's because it's been exposed to too much oxygen. So you want to remove the oxygen. It's just most of us either don't do it or we have those really difficult ones where you kind of have to pump the air out yeah. of it. Everything that you need to 
drink, serve, preserve, this beautiful bottle of wine. Lots of us are getting a nicer bottle of wine now, right? Especially at the holiday season. You got the cutter. Now this is not a little plastic cutter, guys. This is like a really high-end stainless steel cutter. You just give your bottle a little twist, right? Pops it right off. And then you take your corkscrew, and it's electric, which means it never needs batteries. Okay? Yeah, I, I just plug it right in. I plug mine into my bar. They sent me four. You see three of them here. One lives on my bar. It has not moved from my bar, right? Or if you just have a little bar area. And then you can see that light the lights up, so you can see where the cork's going. Look how easily. I mean, you were talking about your mom having a little bit of dexterity issue. All she has to do is press a button, right? So this is for the young, the old, the new wine drinker, the wine drinkers that have been drinking wine a long time, delivers it back to you. Remember, the corks live on board, right? So you're not gonna lose them. The other cool thing, guy, you can like dial up the date. So today's the 25th, because I know there's 30 days till Christmas. I'm gonna go to the 25th. I can dial that up. I know it's hard to see it, but when you get it home, it's real easy to see there's a number on there. 25, so I know that obviously November 25th, I recorked this wine and I resealed it. So I can even take it to the refrigerator and store it on its side if it's a bottle of white. Um, never been able to do that before, have we? Because it would spill everywhere. Now it is completely recorked. All right, I, I have one here. If you want to see me do it live, I'll do it live for you. So even though I'm kind of doing it backwards. But anyway, I've already gone ahead and I've spun the top and I put the little thing on it. And I wanted to show everybody, this is what it does when you pop that. There it is. So look at how perfectly that comes off. It's nice and even and exposes the cord. You don't want little pieces of the, uh, of the label to be getting in the way when you're pouring your wine. And then all you simply do is you simply mount it on the center, just like that, all right? and you simply hold the button down. It'll find the middle of the cork. Yep. There it goes. Isn't that great? And we are done. If I want to release the cork, I simply go in the opposite direction, all right? And it'll do the same thing. And there is, there's the cork. Boop. Look at that. Now, look close. All right, I'm gonna put this back on this little charging cradle. Not one bit of damage to the exterior of this cork. And you can see, even though it goes in a little bit on an angle, because you're not fighting it, and because you're doing it the right way slowly and you're not rocking it back and forth, it takes the cork out perfectly every time. If I wanted to put the cork back in just for the day, I could do that. But then remember, the next thing I can do is I can take one of the little wine stoppers and put that on top. And now I can come over and I can press down and I hit the button and you see the light? You can actually, I'll turn it on and off so you can see the light. There's the blue light. And what that's doing is removing the air out of the cork. You only have to do that for about five, 10 seconds. That's it. And now this thing is locked in. So now you've, uh, you've taken the oxygen out. You've, uh, you've lengthened the, the life of the wine by instead of a, you know, a day or two, weeks. Because as long as the air is out of there, it goes back into its original state, all right? You, it, will, it will always lose a little bit of flavor just because remember, wine needs to breathe. First of all, wine is, is an alcoholic product, and if you drink wine right out of the bottle, you know, sometimes the alcohol is too much. It overpowers the, the body and the, well, I can get in all that stuff, but you know what I mean. So you want it to aerate a little bit, but then you want to plug that back up, or more of that precious alcohol will also evaporate, and it affects the tannins and all kinds of other things. So it really is a great way to, to not only look like you know what you're doing, if you don't, but it's a great way to look like you know what you're doing when you do. And I will tell you, I would use this <laughs> any day before a regular, and I listen, I could open wine in my sleep. I've been doing, I've done it for years, but you will still run into a cork, all right? From time to time, depending on how wine is stored, you know, all wine should be stored basically on its side so that the cork stays, uh, stays moist. Uh, that's the way I've always done it. When you ever see wine racks, the wine is on its side. And then when you open it, remember, raise it slowly because if you have sediment, you don't want to re redistribute that inside the wine itself. But there's a whole process to doing it. Opening it is the key because opening it, if you screw that up and you get cork in the wine, I had people, be, I'll be God's honest, I had waiters open bottles of wines at table, at a table, and I've had wine be sent back because there was one tiny piece of cork in the guy's glass. And he's like, sorry, I'm, I'm spending $75 on a bottle of wine. It's gotta be perfect. You can do it yeah. perfect every time in the comfort of your own home. Comes in red, comes in black. It's only $49, it's free shipping and handling. And, and for me, I, I mean, you know, Kelly, it's the perfect gift, right? The perfect gift. It really, 
It's the perfect gift. I wanted to show you, you know, when you recork it, a lot of white wine goes in the fridge. You can actually store it on its side. So that's really nice because I've recorked it, right? It's not going to leak all over my fridge. So uh, pardon the messy fridge, you know, it is I the holidays. It. I have an love excuse. It. But yeah, I think it's just a really nice gift, guy. It's solid. I mean, and you don't ever have to recharge um, the batteries yeah. because it doesn't take batteries. You just plug it right in. It's hey, just a really nice way yeah, and, to use uh, an electric wine opener. And you don't have to look like a loser when you open up a bottle oh. of wine. All right, you'll be a you winner. You look like a pro. You'll, you'll be, be a, a pro. winner. That's Kelly right. Kelly Giedring, <laughs> thank you, darling. Hey, remember, $40, Thanks, gift, $40 gift card makes this $9.99 if you get a brand new HSN credit card. So grab it. Uh, thank you, Kelly. Bye. Uh, All right, 720530. All right, we're going to step away. Brand new world launch of our two in one air fryer, regular deep fat fryers coming up in just a bit. But first, we got some great uh, holiday baking tips uh, from the lovely and talented Marianne Getz. We'll be right back.